Hello. Today I'm going to imagine my life as an Aussie for your enjoyment and describe how my life would look from aspects such as healthcare, employment and education. So, let's start with healthcare. Healthcare in Australia is different from healthcare in Sweden in various aspects. For starters, most, expect a few of the hospitals in Sweden are government funded, which means that the hospitals are primarily financed through taxpayers. However, Australian healthcare provides a mixed type of healthcare system. Universal healthcare, which is a private, which is public, and private providers, which is a private, which is the private sector. If I lived in Australia, this could be a problem though, because the patients must pay for the healthcare, providing the fact that they're not veteran uh, or indigenous Australian. And since I live in a very active and sport-friendly family, this could be very bad news. The possibility of getting into an accident that needs hospital care is fairly high, especially as a young kid when you're playing more physical sports, sports such as footy for instance. Footy is short term for us football with, and is a physical sport in similar fashion to ice hockey, uh, which is the most uh, violent sport in Sweden, or violent, and that me and all my brothers have played. Uh, and wants to less. Uh, the difference is that we don't have to worry about injuries from an economic perspective here in Sweden. But however, could have played a big part if I was born in Australia. There's more to the healthcare aspect. On one hand, the number of births birth are higher in Australia, but on the other hand, significantly higher infancy death rate according to but have has on the other hand significantly higher death rate according to the CIA World Factbook. So, if I would have been unlucky, then I perhaps wouldn't have lived to see this day. On the other hand though, uh, statistics show that if I was born in Australia, my lifespan would be 0.18 years longer, also according to the CIA World Factbook. If we then go over to the employment aspect. The most recent statistics show uh, that the most common profession in Australia 2016 were uh, construction builders or carpenters at, as they are known. This in the light of the blooming construction bu uh, building that Australia is experiencing at this moment. Hence carpenters are needed. This is something that possibly could would attract both me and possibly other members or possibly other members of my family. Uh, on my family uh, since it's an honest man's work and secondly because personally I'm more interested in manual labor than a 9 to 5 desk job. My mother on the other hand who has a more artistic personality and who, uh, who's also the kindest woman in the world will probably strongly desire to either be involved in some advertising management which she does now or teach at a school. A very positive aspect about finding work in Australia compared to Sweden is the possibility of being unemployed is almost 23% uh, lower than it is here in Sweden. Which is crucial, uh, especially for a young man like myself that aspires to get into the work environment uh, or, and labor market as soon as possible. Uh, and uh, all this even though Australia has about 40 million more inhabitants. And although I would make 5% more money working in Australia, which sounds really good, I think it comes down to that, uh, that on average you work more. Basically the paycheck is about the same and if you wanted to make as much money in Sweden as the average employee in Australia does, you could just work more. But to get the job in both Sweden and Australia you need, you need to have an education. So how does the education system compare between the two? Not only does the culture of the schools differ, the whole education system are built in two contrasting, way, contrasting ways, but still not as different as you might think. The systems are compulsory from the ages 5 to, 7, 5 to 17 in Australia, varies from Sweden's 6 to 16. And unlike uh, from Sweden, where homeschooling is limited and heavily monitored by the government, it's widely more accepted in Australia. Uh, it's in Australia I would have, not so differently from Sweden, gone to primary school where I would get my first idea of how and what an education is. This stage in Australia goes from prep school to 6th grade. Then you go on to 7th grade to 12th grade. In Sweden one needs to change school quite more often. You can go to certain schools from prep grade to 9th grade or from grade 0 to 6th grade. Grade 0 is prep grade, yeah and from there you uh, change to another. 
So if you have a little more uh, to choose from if you live in Sweden or which I do have who lives in Sweden. So we also have a little more um, uh, well, or when you're done with all the grades in school, then you go to a gymnasium or up a secondary school from which you graduate. But all these years that young pupils go to school, there's one major difference between the countries. And a different difference that I'm used to now, I wouldn't give up for anything. School lunch. In Australia, the students don't get provided the food in the same way that schools in Sweden does. Uh, instead, you must either bring your own food uh, or from home or pay for the lunch cafeteria that most Australian schools are equipped with. From that perspective, Sweden's got the upper hand. The last difference that I'm going to mention is the majority of schools in Australia require students to wear uniforms. Not military uniforms, but school uniforms. This aspect I wouldn't have any problem with if I went to Australia, uh, or if I was born in Australia, uh, since I think I look quite dapper in uniforms or clothes that require or are so we say with dress codes. Um, in conclusion, uh, healthcare in the respective countries are similar in many ways, but the biggest difference is that you have to pay for the visit, like a hotel. And the more serious injury or disease, the, big, the heftier the price is going to be. And employment, the, or <laughs> the employment difference is not uh, big between the countries. I would probably end up as a construction worker in Australia. And by the way, my grades are looking right now, the possibility of that happening here in Sweden are not in my favor. So the uh, employment aspect is pretty much the same between the two countries for me. Uh, and in last place comes education, which can vary from quite similar depending on how you structure your education. The biggest difference uh, differences are that students don't get food from the schools um, uh, and have to go and have to or get to as or have to or uh, get to as I would like to put it, wear nice clothes every day. Thanks for listening.